I go like right here, like right up my nostril and on an angle like that. And then I Here's get- Here's the thumbnail. <laughs> It's Sunday time and we're going to the spa. I got a, what do you call these? A hair cap, a shower cap. And I got hair dye because today I am dyeing my own hair, I'm cutting my own hair, and I'm doing some waxing and I thought you'd wanna come along. Now, this is my favorite hair dye. This is the Schwarzkopf Keratin Color and my favorite color is Intense Cocoa. I'm not sponsored by this, but I love it. And what I love is that it includes a pre-treatment, so it protects your hair a little bit more. It also includes a really good conditioner that you can use after. So I'm in my hair dye outfit. This is just an old button-up shirt and some old leggings. And I like the button-up shirt because when it's time to get in the shower and rinse out the hair dye, it's very easy. You don't wanna pull a shirt over your head with the hair dye on. So you just unbutton it and then rinse it out. Okay, so this is it. This is what I do. I just cover everything and then I use like- Have your can of Coke there. Well, yeah, because you need to have a dye of Coke <laughs> while you dye your hair. I'll put my scissors back and now I'll show you my process. So what I need, if I have long hair, so I need two boxes of dye, take my hair out and then I'm going to open both boxes and get everything ready. So now I'm going to set aside the conditioner ones. So there's a conditioner and there's a conditioner. I'll put those in the shower because I'll need those when I rinse out my hair. I'll just put them aside. And then this is the stuff I need for dyeing. And this is the pre-treatment. I'm going to use both because, again, I have a lot of hair and long hair. So I'm just going to squish it all in my hand and you put this on your tips of your hair the ends so i'm just gonna do that and kind of just run it through is that so it doesn't like burn your hair it it's to um yeah make it gentler not dry out your hair i love th this is like one of the only hair dyes that i buy that I, that includes this it protects your hair so that the dye doesn't wreck it technical process just divide it as best I can into four sections. And I use these hair clips that I got at Winners. So you just take a section, twirl, and clip like that. Another section. Like that. Whoa, you're a pro at this. And it doesn't have to be like perfect. Just, you just, it's easier to make sure you get all your hair when you just clip it. And then also I'm gonna show you a trick I learned about making it easier to get the, the dye off your skin if you do get it on your skin, which I always do. Take some Vaseline and I'm gonna just put it all over my hairline, like right here, not on the hairline but just underneath because it provides a barrier so that it's much easier to wipe off. And I just go along my whole like hairline there and then I put it all on the back of my ear because that's where I get a ton of dye. And then all here down my neck, underneath at the very bottom. I just kind of feel, I don't really know, I just go with it. Okay, so I'm going to take one of these tubes Pull the cap off here of one of the cream. And there's a little piercy thing. You just pierce it. And then you squeeze this tube into the cream. And you just squeeze the whole thing in there. Then you put the cap back on. And we're gonna pull, there's a little like tip here. Pull that off and then you're gonna shake this till it's combined. You can make the sound effects too sometimes. <laughs> and uh, if you do have like the pre-treatment, 
it makes it a little harder to separate your hair, but the pre-treatment totally is worth it. Like my hair's so shiny and soft after. And then I just kind of get the under bit here. And then I take the ends here and I squish a bit of dye on it like this. And I run it through. And then I take this and I just bring it through, massage. Make sure I get everything. I'll go through probably one bottle for half of my head and then one bottle for the other half. Okay, I managed to get dye on my eyebrow. <laughs> okay, so I'm just like finishing up. I'm wiping the dye off and like it's it's gonna, you're gonna get dye on your skin if you do this. <laughs> It'll just wash off in a day or two. Um, Month or two. <laughs> so I'm finished. I emptied both bottles on my head and now I'm making sure that I pull all the dye throughout my head and I'm gonna massage it in like shampoo because I wanna make sure I get every spot that, um, especially my roots, cause I do have gray hair. And I'm gonna set the timer for 30 minutes. I'll show your password on the phone. <laughs> I put the camera on. Okay, timer. <laughs> Just show my password. 30 minutes. There we go. And now I'm going to take one of these baby wipes and just scrub anything that I can before it sets on my skin just to make the stains a little less. Yes. Oh, oh, there's some. Okay, that's great. Now, while I wait, um, I'm gonna do a waxing on my face. If you don't know, I have PCOS, which causes excess facial and body hair. So I have to wax about every two weeks. And I learned to do this as a teenager myself because waxing every two weeks would take a lot of time and money to go to the salon all the time. So I buy these wax strips I don't have the box, but they're Parissa. Uh, you can get them at Walmart. I learned if you get the ones for legs and bikini that you get way more strips, and then I just cut them myself. The face ones are actually more expensive and you don't get that many. So this way, I can do my whole face and still have many left over. Okay, so I have like my mirror that magnifies, and I'm just, first I'm gonna go through and do I pluck a bit of my eyebrows first, and then I do the waxing. Okay, so I also, I apparently like doing a lot of things at the same time. I'm also gonna put one of these nose strips on to get the blackheads out of my nose while I'm waxing. So I got one of these, and first what I do is I squish my nose to get the blackheads out. <laughs> And now, I gotta wipe this up. This helps remove a lot of extra. <laughs> Take a little alcohol swab, clean it up, and get the nose strip on. Squish it on. I like really squishing it, like, to make sure it mushes so that when it pulls, it pulls as many blackheads as it can. So I just took an alcohol swab and wiped that Vaseline off the side of my face. My face gets hairy. This sounds not cute, but um, because of the PCOS, I get a lot of hair here. So I'm gonna take the wax strip. I make a bigger one like that. And I'm gonna do the sides of my face. Hold here and then pull up. Bing! Look, ooh! Eww! And I do one side at a time. I go like right here, like right up my nostril and on an angle like that. And then I Here's get... the thumbnail. <laughs> and then I just do the same thing. I hold underneath and then pull. Bing! <laughs> I would picture like what it would look like if I didn't wax, like a mustache. And then it would, it would motivate me to pull it. So I would just imagine myself with a mustache and then I would go three, two, one. Bing! <laughs> Okay, so now that I'm finished waxing, I'm just gonna take some alcohol on a makeup remover pad and I'm gonna just like 
pull out all the excess wax to try to get it off because if you put makeup on after you wax your face, um, the foundation kind of latches onto the wax stuff. So I found this the most helpful. And then I'll pull this off. And we're working time-wise perfectly. I've got about 10 minutes left on the timer for the hair dye. And now I'll just peel this off because it's dry. Oh, uh, sorta. Got a few there. Eh, not too many. Pretty good pores, but we did it. We did it. This is the final product. Looking nice. This is my favorite color. Um, okay, so what I did is I went in the shower, I rinsed my hair until the dye was completely gone and the water ran clear. And then I used that conditioner that I showed you in the beginning to, I applied about two tablespoons on the ends of my hair and I used a wide tooth comb to put it, like run it all the way through so that the conditioner covered everything. Let it sit for three to five minutes and then I rinsed it out, I blow dried my hair and then I straightened it because when I cut it, I want it to be as straight as possible. I find it helps me cut my hair like pretty even. And then I always get asked like, how is my hair so shiny? I get asked about my hair all the time, which is why I thought I would do this video. So when I dry it, I spray it with a heat protectant. This is, I use whatever one looks good. And this is the current one I got at Marshall's. This one is um, Foxy Bay heat protectant spray. And then I spray a detangler. This is my favorite one. I'm not sponsored by any of these products. I just use them because they work really well. This one is Total Repair by L'Oreal. And I spray that all over my hair, especially like the tangly part at the roots. And I love Argoin oil. I think that's what makes my hair shiny and healthy. I use just a very, very bit, like half the size of a dime. And I put it on only the ends of my hair before I blow dry it. And then this, I put this through as well, about um, a nickel size, frizzies, straightening, styling cream, right before I blow dry it. And now I'm gonna cut my hair. I'm letting my bangs grow, so I'm not gonna cut those today. I'm gonna cut the ends, and then I'm gonna show you how I do like the layers, the face framing layers. So I'm gonna divide my hair right in half and put it to the front. And I got one of those garbage bags, like I showed you how I cut it down the middle before. And I'm gonna just put it like this. And hold it with a clip. This will catch all the hair so that I don't have to clean it up. <laughs> so bring it to the front. And then I take a comb. I just comb through to make sure there's no like tangles. Everything is smooth. And then I'm just gonna trim a little bit. I only want the dry ends off. Just take a pair of hair cutting scissors. I got them off Amazon. And I just go right to above where I wanna trim. And I literally just trim straight across. And then if it's like a little tip there, a little uneven, I just kinda wing it around. And then, so that it doesn't look so straight across, I will take the scissors, pull my hair straight again, and I'm gonna cut upwards to make it look more textured and more like a professional did it. And I literally just cut up um, until I think that it looks cool. <laughs> Pretty much it. Just make little trims. Sorry about the light in here, guys. We don't have much natural light and don't have much room to put lights. So there, I'm gonna show you. So that's what it looks like. And then I'm just gonna trim the other side so that it looks even. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Now I'm gonna do the face framing layers. So I have three different lengths here. The length I just trimmed and then a short piece and then a medium piece. So first I'm gonna take the short piece and find all the short pieces like that on both sides. Flip the rest of my hair back, and I'm gonna pull this all the way to the front. I'm gonna comb it all to the front like this. I'm gonna pull it in front so that I can see what I'm doing. Go all the way, 
And then again, I'm going to pull it to where just above where I want to trim it. And I'm just literally going to trim. And then I'm going to do that same upwards cutting motion to get it to look more like textured, not so straight across. You see anything uneven, just do a little trimmage. So there, and now I'm going to do the medium layer here, which is the exact same thing. I just find all the hairs that are medium, flip the rest back, pull it all the way to the front, comb it, and this time what I'm going to do is find the longest layer because I have two layers there. Go right down to the longest layer, right above where I want to trim. Do the trim and then do the upwards cutting. Okay, so that's what it looks like from the back. How does it look, Sassy Bear? Great. And then this is what it looks like from the front. It's pretty easy, like once you get the hang of it. Um, so that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will be trimming my bangs once they're long enough in the future. So if that's something you guys wanna see, let me know in the comments. And uh, Sassy and I have lost 130 pounds each and kept it off for six years. If you wanna know exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, we have two weight loss guides. The links are down below. Exact portions, exact meal plans, family friendly recipes, all in there and screaming kids and we have guilt-free cookbook all your favorite foods without the guilt and extra calories link is down there as well and if you want harder than last time supplements tons of supplements check out the link they are literally the best ones we've ever tried link is down there as well or you can watch these two videos for free and now we're going to log more around no, no, no. whoa on, this is called the fresh hair lawn i like your shoes <laughs> right <laughs> Me too. And this beam, PG for YouTube. Shake your beam and shake your beam and show your hair. I show your hair. <laughs> love you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit the bell notification, and love yourself and your life. <laughs> love you. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Remember, the friends, that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Bye through it. You can do it. Don't give up.